Joining me now is Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee. Let's start with what the president, you, you heard what he just said. And he, it, look, he argues, we had an election, I won. He did campaign quite heavily on raising taxes for those uh, making over $250,000. And he says, I went to John Boehner, I offered him a trillion dollars in cuts, so we're talking two to one, mm -hmm. cuts to uh, income uh, rates. Why didn't you just take it? What well, Candy, that's interesting. I was I watched the interview. I don't think any American has ever seen those trillion dollars in cuts that he offered. Well, now he. But and there's never been any specifics. And if I were president, I certainly would lay those out before the American people. I've been as involved with this as any senator in the United States Senate, other than Mitch McConnell and Harry Reid. I have never seen those cuts. So I'd love to take those up on the Senate floor. But let me just say this, like every American, I'm disgusted with where we are. I know people are irritated at the president, they're irritated at Congress, as they should be. There's no question that in the next few days or the next few weeks, we're going to rescue most of the American people from a tax increase. We're going to do it. It'd be better to do it over the next day or two. But what hasn't happened in this debate is any discussion about real reductions, reforms in Medicare and Social Security to save those. And I think that is totally irresponsible. And there's, but there's, there's, look, here's where we are. There's not time for you to reform entitlements between now no, and midnight that's on the happen first. during the debt ceiling. That's right. right. So here is your choice. Yeah. You either allow tax uh, rates to go up on everyone. We're, we're going to Or you try that. to protect some people. I, I would bet my life that over the next very short period of time, 98 to 99 percent of the people in the country are going to be rescued. What's miss, been missing in this debate, Candy, is this has been building for two years now. The president had the Simpson-Bowles Committee 25 months ago give a report. If I were president, again, I would lay out a very specific plan as to how to solve this. The president keeps talking about the $1 trillion that he offered Speaker Boehner. I've never seen it. Have you ever seen it? I was surprised that David Gregory today didn't pursue that in the interview because he's really good at those kind of things. So I think if we could get that on the Senate floor also to deal with this next debt ceiling debate. I've laid out a specific plan. I've given it to the president. I've given it to Senator Reid. But that's what's missing and what's happening, unfortunately. We're going to move past, we, you know, we created this fiscal cliff. And we're going to deal with it over the next uh, few days or few weeks. But unfortunately for our country, every American's quality of life is going to be lesser than it should be because now this is going to drag on to the debt ceiling. We're going to have the same kind of thing play the out. The president says he's not going to play games with the well, debt ceiling. He's not going to play politics. He well, just I wants it raised. I think he should go ahead then and lay out the reductions. You know, we set the precedent on a dollar for a dollar, a dollar increase in debt ceiling for a dollar in reductions. I actually laid out a bill to do that this week with Lamar Alexander. But I think what's been missing here, Candy, um, is it appears to me that the president either lacks the courage or the will to lay out those specific things that need to happen because I assure you if he would lay those out the House would take it up the Senate would take it up and we could move this behind us and we could start this next year uh, with the wind at our back and this fiscal issue behind us like most of us would like to but do. But you know and I know that's not going to happen in this no, short time I, I, we I have. No, but I just wonder why it hasn't. And, and we will well, deal with it. Well, us too. I mean, you're, yeah. you're part of it, right? I mean, well, no, you know, all, all of America kind of looks up and goes, why are these, everybody's complaining about the other person not. Well, no, no, no. Wait a minute. I actually laid out a very specific bill five weeks ago, gave it to the White House, not many people are willing to lay the cards on the table, but it's the president's responsibility when we have a situation like this to be very specific about what needs to happen and let Congress take it up. So, so look, I, I think everybody should be disgusted at where we are. We're going to deal with this tax issue. We're going to deal with it either before midnight tomorrow or in the next couple of weeks, but nobody in the country, 99 98 percent of the people in the country should not be worried about revenues, but what they should be worried about is we still haven't tackled the issue of fiscal solvency. And that is likely to come up, come up during the debt ceiling. Where is your bottom line in terms of taxes? You know, I, I'm, I've, I feel so certain, Candy, that uh, something's going to happen on the Senate floor over the next day and a half. I don't even want to... Uh, I, I, Mitch Would McConnell... You go for, if, if Mitch McConnell says, look, $250,000, everybody above that is going to get a tax hike. 
Are you there, I? Say, say again? If, if Mitch McConnell comes up and says, look, here's the best we can do. Yeah. $250,000 and above is going to get yeah, a but he's not gonna tax do that rate hike. Because he's not going to do that. Let me tell you why. Senator Schumer doesn't want to see that happen. Kirsten Gillibrand doesn't want to see that happen. Dianne Feinstein doesn't want to see that happen. So it's not going to be at 250. But some number, there's going to be, uh, I don't know what it's going to be. We know it's probably the floor is at least 400 uh, because that's already out there. So my guess is we're going to be in a, I don't even want to say, at least 500. And my guess is it's going to happen and it's going to pass. But here's the thing. You're talking about eight days of funding for the United States government. Right. Now we have a Medicare. Comes in. Yeah, we have right. a Medicare program where people are paying one third of the cost, and 20 million or more Americans are going to be on it over the next 10 years, and we have yet to deal with that.